hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and in this video we will look at filaments database notifications so in my previous video I have showed you how we can use the notifications API of filament to show the user certain kinds of notifications when certain actions happen in our application for example this is a student and if I click this button can you see this popover comes in right and it has the ability to give you a positive action a negative action and stuff like that but these are notifications which are short-lived and you can't go back to them and do certain stuff right however filament does give you another way of running notifications which is through the databases and in this video we will see how we can do that and what are the advantages so let's dive in so inside our filament application if i go into my filament.php file as you can see there is one key called database notifications if i turn this true and if i refresh my application all right it doesn't have the table which is something which i need to do which we can get using php artisan notifications stable it will create a notification table migration okay and if i now run php artisan migrate let's go into our database and we will see there is this notification table right and now if i refresh can you see here is this new icon for every user which gives you this nice and wonderful little ui where you can see your notifications the popovers are still fine how we send notifications into this is something we will see now now before we jump in one small little thing so the database based notifications we saw that we can enable or disable it using this flag and this poll interval is also quite interesting what it does is it will make a call to the server to just check if there are new notifications or not and you can based on your applications um, I would say in the usage you can bring it down as low as possible for example even five seconds if required but do note that it is going to make Ajax calls so there will be continuous queries and if you have a very busy application I would think you should bump it up but yeah a completely configurable option based on what you are trying to do okay with that out of the picture let's see how the notifications can be sent I'll open up my attendance widget so attend student attendance widget is what we have over here now we can see we have a lot of things happening over here and like all other APIs of filament sending a notification to the database is very easy how do we do that we can send to database this is a method and this method takes a user's array or maybe a collection authenticable or a model now authenticable if you know our user extends authenticable which means we can send a user as a parameter so why don't we do auth user and if I now hit save come over here click on it we see this and we immediately see this as well can you see this right seven seconds ago it will try to keep yourself updated okay this is not happening because I don't have real-time capabilities in here but if we like I said if I do a one second thing okay click add let it go away click over here can you see this keeps changing because again you should know what are the pitfalls but 
this is what is happening it is making an ajax call every second and you can control the frequency using this but having said that it does give you some real time activities right and you can push it to multiple users and that is how they will be notified about anything which is coming over here now let me just take it to 30 seconds i don't want any real time thing as of now it's not a very you know, mission critical application let's see the database so we have ids we have type which is database notification fine notifiable type is user which is also fine and notifiable id i guess this is the user's id if we if we would have chosen a different user then it would have come like that and let's see what are the actions hmm mm -hmm -hmm. let me open it up in some json beautifier json beautifier and let's understand what we are getting all right name view color success blah 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 event data there's no event data there's no extra attribute then there's this action thing because if you look at our ui right okay i'll need to go over here it needs to know what it is supposed to do with those buttons and hence it keeps that track so again right this is what i actually wanted a little bit more space in here rather than a full screen so undo again it says that the color is danger event is undo increment and then quite a few things and i have view where if you see we have the url as well right so all the information is in place it's kind of json but filament understands it so what else do we want right Every, everything is in place and then if we go to our application obviously we can see this if you want you can mark all as red okay what that will do is you know the counter goes away and red at those null values are now replaced with actual timestamps so you have created at you have updated at and you have your red at as well and obviously you can individually delete a notification which will mean one row is gone and if you have just for the sake of an example right uh, clear clear we have four notifications correct we have four rows over here if i go over here and say clear everything is done right so as you can see a lot of things are available with us when it comes to the database based notifications of filament so it gives you a lot of features out of the box and believe me these kind of things to build it from scratch does take a lot of time so one more reason to use filament so that's about it guys that's what i generally wanted to cover in this video and even in this course now obviously i haven't covered everything which is there in filament because you know, that would have been a very long course but i have tried to cover everything which you need to know to start building your application our school management application is right now in a stage where we have covered a lot of basics of filament how relationships works how the forms are created tables filters and a lot of things and there are so many things which you can explore there are plugins which you want to explore right so yeah the world is open for you but this course is all about the basics of filament and how to get started if you like this video and the course overall then do mention in the comments if you have any specific kinds of doubt in certain aspects of the application then drop a comment and i do have plan to improve on this application and if those features that you are requesting does add value to this application believe me i'm gonna add those features and record those videos as well what else i think that's about it see you in the next video thanks for watching bye